All right, we're going to put on some frame sliders. So I got their instructions. I kind of read through them. Sometimes instructions aren't exactly perfect for your bike, so you have to extrapolate, interpolate, whichever eight you need to do. Read the instructions, understand them. I like Speedy Moto. They give you a little diagram of how the parts should fit together. Typically, I'll kind of play with the parts and make sure everything makes sense, make sure the threads work. Some of the older Ducatis might have an Allen head at the non-nut end. So the head of the bolt is a 14 millimeter. Go ahead and thread on the end nut there, so I'll be hitting something other than threads, even though this is a plastic hammer. Instructions don't really say this, but I like to put grease on things. So just take a little bit of grease, smear it on. Keeps metal from rusting, makes things happy. A little bit of grease. This is the first time I've ever done it without using a jack, and it looks like it's going okay. But I'm going to go ahead and bust out the jack so you can see a good cheat to do if you get this thing binding or if you're using a lot of force, then you want to uh, make life a little bit easier. Um, by using the jack, you're making it to where you're going to relieve some of the stress, some of the uh, shear load on the bolt, and they should pass through easier. bit of effort and you're just going to lift it enough that it's easier. So that's the trick if you hear anyone on the internet talk about using a jack. That was it. You just lift it up a little bit. The tires are still on the ground. Nothing much. Go ahead and let it down. For this we use our digital calipers. We're going to use the depth portion to see how far in the stud is. And in this case, it's 63.86 millimeters. So let's go thread the other side on, and then we'll go back and forth until we think it's central. Sixty-two point 
to 37. So we've got only one millimeter difference between them, 40 thousandths of an inch. I'm happy. We've got the stud pretty well centered. Okay, that one was already at 37 from me tightening it. So I basically used 37 foot-pounds just putting them on so you can see how it's pretty easy to get some torque with standard hand tools. Take the washer, the screw, some grease on the washer. Doesn't need a whole lot. Maybe dab some grease in here if you want, who cares. In this case, what I will do though is I'll wipe it off the face. I don't want to necessarily lubricate the face. You put your spacer on the inner washer, then the slider, then the slider mount screw, and the torque spec is 18.5. So that's it, we put frame sliders on. Easy job. We do offer at California Cycle Works on our website, ca-cycleworks.com, hand tools, torque wrenches, sockets, any of the tools you need to do this job, we actually have them around. Or go to your local uh, auto parts store or your local hardware store. They can help you with that too. Thanks for watching.